We have gamma naught. Gamma naught is equal to an infinite nesting of five functions. The counting sequence for gamma naught is equal to phi zero of zero, phi of phi zero of zero, phi of phi of phi zero of zero, and so on. Let's have f gamma naught of three. That is equal to f with an index of phi of phi of phi zero of three. Phi zero of zero, as we've known earlier, is equal to one. Phi one of zero is equal to epsilon zero. And epsilon naught of three, as we've known, expands to omega cubed. And then finally, we have phi omega cubed. Now this is extremely big. Now we can get bigger with gamma naught plus one. Let's have f gamma naught plus 1 of 3. This breaks down into 3 copies of the gamma naught function. f gamma naught of 3, as we've known, is equal to phi omega cubed 0 of 3. Now f gamma naught of this whole thing, that's phi of phi of phi of phi, f gamma naught of 3 times. Now, f gamma naught of this whole thing, this is a lot bigger. We can get bigger with gamma 1. The counting sequence for gamma 1 is equal to phi gamma naught plus 1, phi of phi gamma naught plus 1, phi of phi of phi gamma naught plus 1, and so on. We can have gamma 2, gamma 3, gamma 4, gamma omega, or even gamma to the gamma naught. We can even have an infinite nesting of gammas. This is the gamma fixed point. You can keep going higher by creating new fixed points.